Hello and welcome to number two sports ground for this minor semi-final clash in the NHRU between the Wanderers and the Maitland Blacks. Should be a wonderful match of football. The Wanderers, they're on a three-match losing streak up against the Blacks who have won their last three. The northern end of the ground here at number two sports ground. Jackson into the line. They're not far away here now, the Wanderers. Comes away to Rowney. Long ball away to Marsh. Marsh should get there. And Tim Marsh opens the scoring for the Wanderers. Maybe not here. Delbo's found a knock on. Ah. Can the Wanderers finally put some points on the board? Here it goes. Wide to Billy Coffey. It'll be hard to stop from here, Billy Coffey. Too easy. He'll run around and improve the position just a little bit. And finally, better late than never for the Wanderers. Max Stafford, who went close before him. Here is Stafford. He will go very close. He'll go over Max Stafford. And the Blacks lock it. We'll get an opportunity to lock it all up here. There's Watson. Now went up and he spilled it. it. Fell nicely for Bergland and they spin it wide. Again, there's plenty of space. Mention gets it on to Rowney. He, play, he scored a double last time against Maitland. And he's burst through again and scored another try, Dylan Rowney. He loves playing against the Blacks. 12-5 to the Wanderers. Looking pretty ready out on that far side of the ground. Here it goes. Simmons to Rowney. And here is Tim Marsh. Just as you predicted, Greg. Slams the football down. And the Wanderers are over again. Early on, did Martin as Beatty on the toe straight to Simmons at the back oh. on to Marsh. It was a bit of a hospital pass because Esther Theo read it, but it goes away to Rowney who swerves away from Clackety and then puts on the afterburners and the kick, towing it ahead. Can he get there first? He can. What a try that is for the Wanderers! Brilliantly done, Rowney with the swerve. And they are out by more than 20 now. They're running away with this minor semi-final. The ball on to Mention, who was falling as he received the ball. And now Sherwood takes on the line. It's only five metres away, Luke Sherwood. Danger left and right for the Blacks. The spin from Rowney, looking for a double. He's over again, Dylan Rowney. Another double against Maitland. And the Wanderers, well, they're almost there at this scrum from the Wanderers straight over the ball and it was a Maitland feed and now they win the penalty it's just utter domination and there he is again Leyland Marshall letting the Blacks know about it very difficult to see from this angle Simmons He's out the mad. back it goes space of plenty oh. for the Wanderers and they've butchered it Ben Ham. Puts the ball down with the line wide open. He hasn't scored a try this year, Ben Ham. And he's not got himself off the nudie run there. Do you think that was going through his head, Greg? He's thinking, all I've got to do is catch this, put it down. No tries this year. Here it is on a platter. And he spills it. I think that's the old rugby league knock on. Maybe a little bit of push and shove. They're going to take it quickly. And burrowing towards the line. He's almost there, Dompkins. He is there, Reese Dompkins. And the Wanderers fans appreciating the performance this afternoon of Ryan Jackson. The hooker inside ball. ball. Coffey surges down the middle of the ground. Himself. Just split them. It comes to Benham. And another penalty for the two Blues. And it looks as though it will be a card here. For repeated infringements. It's a halfback. Stafford on his way to the sideline. We can, Ben. I, I really thought after watching Beaches play yesterday that uh, the winner of today's game, I, I think, can beat Beaches. Here's Billy Coffey again. Another gap opens up for the Wanderers flyer. And he will race away and score again. A double for Billy Coffey. 
come onto the ground, Jaga Collins. Christensen gets the ball away. What a way Good to ball. seal the victory. Josh McCormack, try number 15 for him this season. So Rob Delbo calls an end to proceedings this afternoon. The Wanderers just too strong, and they will go through to the preliminary final where they will aim to make yet another grand final and play Hamilton for a third consecutive season.